In today's video, we're taking a closer look if YouTube thumbnails actually matter in 2020. Hey guys and welcome to my channel welcome back to another episode of social media growth is that's i think what we're gonna name it from now on every saturday <laughs> every saturday we're taking a look at the social media growth of all my channels over the past like 7 14 28 days and so on we always pick a topic for that specific video to kind of focus on a strategy that i maybe implemented last week to see if it paid off or not for everyone who's new here welcome to my channel german luke i'm your host luke i'm currently a full-time content creator i stream every monday wednesday and friday 10 30 a.m mst the link is down in the description below and you can also find me on youtube and on instagram at the german luke if you want to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel make sure you hit the sub button down below as well as the notification bell you know how it works i upload every wednesday and saturday but that is enough of me let's jump right into the video as always let's start with the youtube channel and there was a tremendous growth over the course of the last week last week the channel was sitting at 213 subscribers and now it's sitting at over 340 subscribers this is an increase of almost 20 subscribers a day and it's absolutely mind-blowing at this moment i really appreciate it and um, if you haven't already i made an instagram video about that as well so you can find the link down in the description make sure you check that out anyways i just want to say thank you and now behind all these numbers there are human people behind it appreciate you so overall the channel is sitting at uh, about 340 subscribers at the moment twelve thousand views which is nuts we broke ten thousand views and about 700 watched hours. In last week's video, I told you I've been experimenting with a new type of thumbnail and I wanted to let you know how that actually went. I now tested three videos with a new type of thumbnail and it didn't go as planned, to say the least. Even though the channel has received an insane amount of growth and that is all due to YouTube suggesting my videos to other people, the actual click-through rate on some of my videos have gone down. Over here you can see the old thumbnail that I used. The background is really easy, there's nothing distracting, it's just a bright purple background. There's a picture of me on the right side of the thumbnail with some kind of facial expression and then there's usually a product and the text on the left side. What is important here is that the text is kept short, the font is really large, and it's even more contrasted by putting it on a white background. These types of thumbnails have generated the most click-through rate so far. And I am assuming it is because even though you're just like scrolling through on your phone, maybe it is really easy to read the font and see the product on the high contrast background. Now let's take a look at the new type of thumbnail that I used. The story behind the new thumbnail that I used is that according to some big YouTubers, real life pictures create better click through rate. As you can see in the new thumbnail, which I will link right here, you can see that the background is not as of contrast with me in it anymore. In the first thumbnail that I tried, I actually didn't include any text at all and I just put some images of social media icons up there. This video had one of the worst click-through rate because I think when you scroll through on your phone, there is no contrast in the actual thumbnail. It all kind of blurs in together in this purple-ish background. So no one really knows what the video is about just based on the thumbnail. Just a little side note here, if you didn't know what a thumbnail is you know it's the image that you click on when you see a video and it should basically get you interested and to click on the video so click through rate is the rate measured of how many people see the image and then actually click on it so you want to make it kind of interesting but also tell the person the viewer what the video is actually about anyways let's resume I then experimented with the same style of thumbnail, but I included text and I also tried a different color. I think what improved here was that the font was on there, but now the actual color and contrast seemed kind of dull. There wasn't really a lot of attention grabbing color in that thumbnail and I will link that on the right here as well. So then I tried the third thumbnail and I made it a little bit of a brighter background again. I tried to put myself in a bigger focus and larger font and that video performed a little bit better based on the click through rate. So now after trying the new thumbnail for three videos and not being too happy with the results, I went back for the new video that I uploaded last Wednesday. I will link in the card up here if you haven't seen it already. I went back to my old type of thumbnail with a bright background, the large font and a picture of myself included in it. It is a little too early to already say if the thumbnail worked or not. The video had only been out as of filming because I do Thursday to Thursday or Wednesday to Wednesday in the week. There is a couple theories that I have though and looking at the click-through rate over time of my old videos, I have a little suspicion of what is going on here. But that will be the topic for the next video. Don't worry, I will not make the next video about the thumbnails as well. I just want to touch base on it next week and give you an update of if it actually worked or not. That was enough of YouTube. 
let's go to Mixer. My Mixer channel has been exploding a lot as well. It's absolutely great. Right now it's sitting at 750 followers total and about 3,400 views. There's a couple of reasons why I think that my Mixer channel is going up the way it is. One of the main reasons is actually cross-platform like advertisement promoting. I am promoting my social media all across the social media. So on YouTube, I advertise a lot my Mixer channel, like right here. Link in the description below, go check it out. I tell you when I'm live, people stop by. On my Mixer, I do the other way around. I say, if you wanna see more of my content when I'm not live, here's my YouTube channel. The same thing goes for Instagram. I use Twitter, but that's... If you really wanna know more about my Twitter, let me down. If you really wanna learn more about my Twitter, now I got it. Let me down. Let, don't let me down. If you want to learn more about Twitter, let me know down in the comments below. And I can share a little bit about Twitter, but I'm not really familiar with the platform, so I don't feel comfortable giving a lot of advice on it. Anyways, Mixer has been growing tremendously, and it's an absolute blast to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 1030 MST. See what I did there? And there's a lot of tips and tricks on how to make your stream more engaging. And I will actually make a YouTube video about that on Wednesday. And I will include a little bit of tips and tricks next Saturday as well on how to make your stream more interesting. So as of for now, I'm not changing anything related to my mixer. I am playing around with different like overlays and stuff like that to make it more interesting. More next week. But overall, there's no strategy change for mixer. Let's go to Instagram. If you remember last week, I actually grew absolutely zero on instagram because i didn't post at all like nothing i posted twice i think within a week which is absolutely not enough i spoke to a lot of people and we all came to the conclusion that you need to post daily on instagram so i tried to be better about it i actually planned out five posts for the last week you can see them on my instagram link is down in the description which was basically like questions that you asked me and i answered them in igtvs so now you might be thinking, well, you need to post every day, but you only scheduled five posts for seven days. That doesn't work out right. Because on the days that I'm not posting, I'm making sure I'm getting as many Instagram stories out there as I can. So, that, so showing the platform that I'm still active on it every single day and try to engage people in it. I am a strong believer of bringing value to your community, even in my Instagram stories, even though they might seem long. I'm hoping that I get the point across and provide enough value with it. But anyways, so last week I posted Instagram stories almost every day. On the days I didn't post, I posted longer Instagram stories. And overall, the channel is now sitting at 332 followers as of today, which is a growth of almost 100 followers a day. And I think it goes to show that being active on the platform will get you more momentum. There are certain hashtags that I have been playing around with a little bit, but I will get into that in another video if you really want to learn more about hashtags. Before the video ends, let's recap really quick. Next week, we will take just a quick look at the thumbnails and the click-through rate because I have a little feeling that over time, there might be a little bit of changes that come in. The main focus for next week's video on Saturday will be on how to make your stream a little bit more engaging. I think we focused a little bit on YouTube. So the next video, I want to focus a little bit more on the live streaming side so that you get a little bit more insights there as well. And with Instagram, I will try and keep it up as good as I can, post as regularly as I can. I started to actually create content specifically for Instagram instead of just recycling YouTube content or stories on the go so I will give you a little bit more information on that I guess next week if you're interested let me down now in the comments below I messed up that sentence again who cares this is it with the video guys thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the, all the support they have been receiving over the last week it's an absolute blast to see all the positive comments under every single video asking questions giving me feedback i really appreciate that if you have feedback of something that you even did not like in the video make sure you let me know down in the comments below so i can improve on it i got the sentence right so i can improve on it and not make the same mistakes over and over again if you like the video, make sure you smash the thumbs up. You have been absolutely killing it with a thumbs up so far. And it really helps out the YouTube algorithm to push my videos even further. So I really appreciate that. Make sure you share the family friendly video with your family, your friends. And of course, don't forget the dogs, guys. I feel like this has become a staple of the channel now. Don't forget the dogs. 
If you don't want to miss next week's episode, make sure you hit the sub button down below as well as the bell for Wednesday's tips and tricks and Saturday's weekly update on how my social media is going. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will catch you next time.